What's going on guys? Today I'm doing something totally different. Now, yesterday on Netflix, a show was released called I Am Not Okay With This, um, starring Sophia Lillis and Wyatt Olaf, and uh, there's something really cool that you guys probably didn't know. Turns out over the summer this was actually filming in my area and I was actually a background extra. Shocker, woo! And there's one part you can kinda see me in the football stands. But there's something that's really interesting about this scene. Now there's something about the football stand scenes that you will find very interesting. Now you might be able to spot me somewhere up there, but not only once, but twice. I know what you're thinking, how in the world am I in the stands not only once but twice and maybe even a third time and how are other people in the stands in there more than once and how's that even possible and how do you even do that? Well believe it or not it's actually a simple effect that's used to save a lot of money. Most times people refer to this effect as the uh, cloning effect when in reality it's some simple editing and a simple mask tool. But what's the point of duplicating many people in the stands? Now believe it or not, in a lot of movies and TV shows this is commonly done because it's simple. It saves a lot of money. In the stands that day there are probably about a hundred of us total. But it wasn't worth hiring 300 if they could easily duplicate us three times. That way they can only spend one portion of the cost instead of hiring 300 total extras. So that's that simple. That's why they do it. To save money so they don't have to spend a lot of money on us extras. But time to show you how the cloning effect is done. Here we go. Okay, so right now I'm using Final Cut Pro X, and I have two clips of myself. One is this. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brent, and today I'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself. Uh, but first, I need my friend Brent to help. Hey Brent, can you come here? Thanks Brent. Take a seat. And then my second clip, which is this. Oh, so uh, now you need me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two clips, blend them together, and make it look like I'm really addressing another Brent. And here's how I'm going to do it. So the first step I already did. You just want to trim your clips and make sure the timing is correct, because if the timing isn't correct, it seems a little weird. Then the next step is you're going to take one of your clips and you're going to overlap it, and you're going to make sure you're going to listen through and make sure it sounds like, you know, the two are actually talking together, you know, in sync. You don't want it to sound uh, out of sync and weird and no, no delays. So now we're going to do a quick test and see how that sounds. Uh, but first, I need my friend Brent to help. Hey, Brent. Can you come oh, here? so uh, now you need me. Thanks, Brent. Take a seat. And this is where the visual effect trick comes into play. We're going to do something called a mask. Now, no matter if you're using Final Cut or Adobe Premiere, um, masking is a very common thing and you can learn it on pretty much any editing software. I'm not sure about the free ones, but um, yeah. So what I did was I clicked on the Draw Mask option, which is an option on Final Cut Pro X, and we're simply going to draw around this clip here. We're going to cut around this Brent. We're going to just bring this out so it's not cut like that. Oof. And then after that, we're going to do something called a feather. Now this uh, smooths the edges out and makes it look less like a cut. So we're going to do that real quick, and let's watch this through. Now obviously, guys, this isn't 100% perfect. Um, I'm just showing you the basics on how they did this up in the bleachers. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brent, and today I'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself. Uh, but first, I need my friend Brent to help. Hey, Brent, can you come oh, here? Oh, so uh, now you need me. Thanks, Brent. Take a seat. And I obviously see right here there is somewhat of a line because, you know, the lighting might be a little bit off because of the shadows. Now, if you were doing this 100% for real, you would obviously adjust the lighting so you don't come across this issue. But if you are looking for times that I actually did clone myself and you want to see where I actually tried, I do have a whole playlist about cloning myself, so you can check that out. I'll put it in the description down below. Boom! And that's how it's done. It's some simple editing effects using masks, and it's not that hard to accomplish. See? Now you learned something. Don't you feel special today? Now every time you watch a TV show or movie and there's a huge crowd, take the time and try to find if you can find a double. It's really, really hard to do. I mean, it was easy for me because I knew where I was placed, but that's your challenge. And that's all for today's video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. If you want more movie tricks and stuff like this that you really don't think about, let me know and I can do more. Once again, guys, I'm a film student and I absolutely love this stuff. So if you want to know more behind the scenes and how they do these visual effects, comment down below and I'll definitely make more videos because I love talking about it. Okay, well, other than that, you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Make sure to binge watch I Am Not Okay With This on Netflix. It is streaming right now. I'll see you guys next time.